Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli Connect. Today in this video, we are going to integrate two software applications, Shopify and Facebook. So the use case here is, whenever a new order is created in Shopify, automatically create offline event in Facebook. Now let us know what these two software applications are all about. So Shopify is an e-commerce platform where you can set up your online store and sell your products. Whereas Facebook is a social networking site. The issue here is that Shopify and Facebook don't have any integration between them. And that is why we are going to use Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an integration software which will help you to transfer data from Shopify to Facebook. The best part here is you don't require any knowledge of coding. So let me show you this on my screen. So here I am at Google and now what I'm going to do is I'll go to this URL section over here and I'm going to type pabli.com. Okay, so this is the website of Pabli and now I will hover over this product section over here and I'm going to click on connect. Okay, so now I'm going to click on sign in. Okay, so now because I've already signed into my account, that is why I am here. You can also sign up for free in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing. Pabli Connect offers a free plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. You just have to clone the template of the workflow. The link for the same is available in the description below the video. Once you clone the template, you will immediately get access to this workflow right in your account. So now I'm going to scroll down and here at Connect, I am going to click on Access Now. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and you can see we have so many workflows already created over here. So now I'm going to create a new workflow by clicking on this create workflow button. Okay, so now I'm going to give a name to this workflow and I'm going to name it as Shopify integrations. Create. Okay, so now here in choose app first I am going to choose Shopify. Okay, now in trigger event according to our workflow, whenever a new order is created in Shopify will be our trigger event over here. So new order. So now you can see we have various trigger events available. You can select whichever trigger event you prefer. And if you don't get the trigger event of your choice, you can contact our team at admin at the rate and our team will help you. Now I'm going to click on new order. Okay, so now you might have a question in your mind that what is this term called trigger? Let me explain you that automation runs on the concept of triggers and actions. It is all about when something happens, do this. For example, when a sale happens, send an email. In our case, whenever a new order is created in Shopify will be our trigger event over here. So now when you come down here, you can see this term called webhook URL. So webhook is an essential way to get data from an external software at Pabli's end. So this webhook helps you to build a connection between the trigger software application and Pabli Connect. So here after choosing the app and choosing the trigger event, what we do is we copy this webhook URL from here and we go and paste it inside the trigger software application, which is Shopify over here. Okay, so now you can see the instruction are written over here. You can just follow them carefully. So now I'm going to go to my Shopify account. Okay, so this is my Shopify account over here. Now I'm going to click on the settings over here and you can see this notification. So I'm going to click on notifications. Okay, now I'm going to scroll down and here you can see webhooks. So I'm going to create a webhook over here. Okay, so event here is order creation. So I am going to click on order creation. Let us search for it. You can see order creation. Okay, format will be JSON URL. So here you have to paste the webhook URL that you got from Pabli Connect. I'll just copy it and I am going to paste it. Webhook API version will remain same. Save webhook. Okay, so we have successfully created a webhook and we have saved it. Now I'll go back to Pabli Connect and here I am going to click on capture webhook response. So now it is waiting for webhook response. That means now whenever a new order will be created in Shopify, Pabli Connect will capture the data. So now I'm going to go to my Shopify and here you can see online store. So I'm going to open it in new tab. Okay, so now I'm going to click on catalog and I am going to buy a camera. Okay, now I'll buy it. 
So now here contact information, I'm going to enter a contact information here. So the email is going to be emily15 at the rate gmail.com. Okay, first name, Emily, last name, Clo. Company, I'll put here TVS. Address, E24, 10 number market. Arrera Colony, City, Bhopal, State, Madhya Pradesh, PIN code, okay, phone, okay, now continue to shipping, okay, so now I'm going to continue to payment, okay, so now in card number, I'm going to write one, name on card i'll write here bogus gateway i'm here doing a test card payment expiry date okay security code okay pay now okay so we have successfully created an order here in shopify you can see we have bought canon eos 1500d digital slr camera okay so now let's go to public connect Okay, so you can see Public Connect has already captured the data over here. The email is here, created date, updated, okay. If you go down, you can see the amount is also here. So we have successfully finished our first step integration here. Now I'm going to save it. Okay, so now we are going to begin with our second step integration where we are going to integrate Facebook offline events and Public Connect. So I'm going to click on this plus button over here. And now here in choose app, I am going to choose Facebook offline conversions. Now action event is going to be send offline event. So now before moving further, let me explain you what is this Facebook offline event or Facebook offline conversions. So now this Facebook offline conversions is like an analytics tool. If I go to my Facebook analytics tool over here, you can see. So here, if you are running any advertisement on Facebook, then with the help of Facebook offline event, you can easily track the number of clicks and the views of the same. So you can see there is a graph. It tells you what is the count of the number of clicks. You can see it over here. So this helps you to get all the data related to your advertisements. So now I'll go back to Pabli Connect. So now we are going to connect with Facebook offline conversions. Okay, so create new or select existing credentials. You have two options here. Either you can create a new credential or you can just select any existing credential. So here I am going to let it be new credentials. Connect with Facebook offline conversions. Okay, authorization is successful. Okay, so now when you come down here, you can see we have some empty fields and we have to fill the information according to our webhook response. So first select business. So if I go to my Facebook offline event, here I'll show you. So this is the business, that is Neeraj Agarwal's business. That is why the same has been selected over here. If you have more than one business, then it will be displayed over here. You can see I also have one more business that is form get. You can see I have form get business over here also. So now I'll go back to Pabli Connect. So I let it be Neeraj Agarwal's business over here. Okay, so now offline event set. So here you have to select the offline event set. Okay, so now here in Facebook, you can see I have so many offline event set available. So now I am going to select this one that is offline conversion data sets. So now every time any data is captured, it will be displayed over here with the help of graphs. Now you can select any event set according to your choice. I'll let it be this one. Okay, so now I'll go back to public connect and I'm going to select this one offline conversion data sets. That is the same over here. Okay. So now when you go down match key phone. So here you can read the instructions. Enter SHA 256 hashed value of the phone. You can do the conversion by using data transformer application. So here you have to enter the phone number, but it won't accept the phone number in the normal format. That is this one. So it won't accept the phone number in this format. That is why we need to use the data transformer and we need to convert the phone in this format. That is SHA 256. So what I'm going to do is I'll go up and here in middle, I am going to add an action step. So I'm going to use data transformer. And in action event, I am going to use SHA 256. That is our action event. Connect with data transformer. 
Okay, so here you can see data required. So what text do you want to encode? So I am going to encode my phone number. I'll just put it here. That is this one. Save and send test request. Okay, so you can see we have an encoded value over here. So this encoded value we are going to put here in match key phone. I'll just save it once more. Okay. I'll just save it here also. Okay. So now let us match the second value. It is here. Okay. So this is done. Now match key email. Again, you can see it wants us to write the email in this format. That is SHA 256. So we again need to use the data transformer and we need to put the email in encoded form. If you go down here, you can see event time. So here you have to again edit the time of the event. So we are again going to use date or time formatter. So here what we have to do is we have to add two more action steps over here. So I'm going to add two action steps. So first I'll use data transformer. And here I am again going to choose SHA 256 connect with data transformer. And I'm going to put the value as my email. So we are going to get our encoded email. Okay, we have the encoded email over here. I'll just save it. Okay, now I'm again going to put the date or time formatter because it wants the event time. Date or time formatter, action event, format date only, connect with date or time formatter. So now here date, I am going to put the date. That is this one and the format is going to be timestamp this one. Okay, save and send test request. Okay, so we have the result over here. I'll save it again. Okay, I'll just save this one also so that our workflow gets refreshed. Okay, so now match key email here. I'll enter the email that we got from our API three. So let us go down. It is here. This is the email coded. Currency, I let it be INR. Value, I let it be 1. Simply, you can enter any value according to your conversion event. Event name, so event name is going to be purchase. So now in event time here, I'm going to map the correct date that we got in timestamp format. This one, okay. So now custom data key, custom data value. So here you can enter any category over here. You can enter any field, custom data field. Here you can enter the value for the same. So I'm not going to enter anything over here. I'll just leave it blank. Content type, I let it be product. If you want, you can change it. Okay, order ID. So here I'm going to map the order number. Okay, this one. Okay, so now in item number, I'm going to put the item ID. Let us search for it. Okay, save and send test request. Okay, so we have got our API response. That means we have successfully finished our integration. Okay, so now I'll go to my Facebook offline event. I'll just refresh this once. Okay, so you can see active last received in the last minute. You can see the event set. That means it is showing my last activity over here. So the thing with Facebook offline conversions is that that you get your data the next day. So you will only be able to see your data the next day. So that is why I am going to leave this here itself. And tomorrow I'm again going to check my data and I am going to show you the result. So now here, what I'm going to do is I'll again go back to Shopify store and I'm again going to create a new order and then we'll see if the activity is captured here or not. Okay. So I'll go back to my Shopify store and I'm going to buy a new product. This time I'm going to buy this t-shirt. Buy it now. Okay. Hamis Matthew at the rate gmail.com. First name is Hamis. Last name is Matthew. Company. I'll put TVS, okay, address, pin code, phone number, 
continue to shipping continue to payment okay so here you have to enter the credit card details i'll enter the test card details pay now okay so you can see we have successfully placed an order here for hamis matthew so now what i'm going to do is i'll go back to facebook i'll refresh this page once okay so now here i can't show you the data because in facebook offline conversions the data or the information comes the next day that is why what i'm going to do is i am going to check the response tomorrow and we will verify that whenever an order is placed in shopify do we get the result in facebook offline conversions or not okay so we worked on this workflow of shopify and facebook so we were integrating shopify with facebook that means whenever an order was placed in shopify we wanted to create facebook offline events so now today i am going to go to my facebook offline event and we are going to check if there is any response or not so i'll go to my facebook so this was the offline conversions data set that i chose and here you can see we have a graph and you can see events uploaded 6 you can see number of events ingested by the offline event data set so here you can clearly see the information that is available okay so here our integration is working fine and we have successfully finished the integration of shopify and facebook now i'll go back to public connect and i'm going to explain you what has happened in our workflow first i'll just minimize all this okay so in our workflow what we did was we first placed an order in shopify and then we used the data transformer in order to encode the phone number and the email then we used the date or time formatter because we wanted the time in time stamp format and after that we integrated the shopify's information to facebook offline conversions because we wanted to send offline event so we have successfully finished our integration of shopify and facebook offline conversions using pabli connect not just these two apps you can integrate up plenty of applications using pabli connect if you have any queries contact us at admin@pabli.com at our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows or better just visit our website www.pabli.com it's awesome thanks